Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we got our starter, Bulbasaur. Uh, Bulbasaur is still no nickname, still haven't thought of one. But on the bright side, I know my entire team now. Anyways, um, before I head anywhere, a uh, quick little side note. Uh, there is a item up here. Yep, right over here. Got a potion. And then to the route to the left, you can find certain Pokemon there like Mankey or Spiro, Rattata, all that. I'm going to go catch something just to show you guys. Hopefully a Rattata because I kind of want one for one use only. Hey, first try. Uh, Leech Seed, that'll take away health slowly, but I don't really want that for capturing a Pokemon. It looks like we can hit tackle twice. I know I'm giving you guys like a little bit of a tutorial right now about capturing this, but you're gonna get an actual tutorial and it kinda sucks. Um, yeah, so you just use a regular old Pokeball to capture, and we should catch it. All right, there we go. Uh, we got Rattata. Give a nickname to the Rattata? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Nah, let's... Here, I'll do this after someone else who used it. Slavenator. There we go. Alright. Do not go above this patch of grass. If you do, you will be forced to fight a optional uh, right battle. And I believe his levels are 99. And you probably aren't ready for that. Even my Bulbasaur with Leech Seed... They, you know, regain health every turn. Um, I don't believe they'll ever use their special move like Ember or Vine Whip, Razor Leaf, Water Gun, any of that. Um, he also has a Pidgey, I believe. Um, there's nothing really to be concerned about the Pidgey. Uh, it just uses Tackle. But yeah, let's go ahead and go up here. Well now, I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Hmm, what the, what is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates. It's data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I suppose I'd better show you then. Well, I already caught one, but all right. All right, so he's gonna show us how to catch a Weedle. And he goes to his bag, he has one potion, no key items. Pokeball! And he takes his dear sweet time to show us how to catch a Pokemon. Even though we don't really need to know because we already know because I showed you guys. I believe in the originals he doesn't capture it, so he flees. And um, he says, I guess my game. Or I think it's in yellow. Alright, okay, and he gives us the Teachy TV, which is like a tutorial thing. Um, I'm not reading his text anymore. But uh, yeah, I think in yellow he doesn't capture the Weedle, and he runs off to the Pokemart to go buy more Pokeballs. Also, another question, how does a Weedle just appear out of thin air? Like, that's what I want to know. Anyways, let's go ahead and go up here. And if we go up here, we will find my new Pokemon that I'm going to catch. Also, you want to go here, and we get an antidote. And, um... I'll meet you guys when I find my Pokemon. I found it! Ah, oh, It took so long. Probably like five minutes-ish. Oh, it's kind of bulky, wow. Oh, my attack bow. Oof, that's not good. It's gonna take a while. Oh, it has to- well, yeah, it has to have static. But yes, this is going to be my next member. 
Pikachu. Um, does this mean I like Pikachu a whole lot? No. I like Raichu, but I don't really like Pikachu a whole lot. For the reason why other people like it. It's a okay Pokemon, I'll say that. But I do enjoy using it in this game. Alright, I'm not gonna risk a critical hit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try and capture it. Yes! Finally, our second member. Thank you. Uh, Pikachu! When several of these Pokemon gather, electricity can build and cause lightning storms. Uh, give a nickname to the captured Pikachu. Yes! I shall call you... Um... Oops, wrong button. Shit. Uh... Elect... Shura. Electra. Alright. Um, I will meet you guys back here. I'm gonna go heal. And I will talk more about the force in a second. Alright, so now that we're back. Um, in this forest, there are Pikachu, obviously. There are also Caterpie, uh, Metapods, and Weedles. In Fire Red, I believe there's Weedles, Kakunas, and Caterpies. You know, vice versa, one's more rare than the other. I believe that's all you can get here. Uh, one thing you want to make sure you have, probably at least one antidote while you're here. You can find a couple throughout. Uh, but let's check out Electra while we're at it. Um, so it's a relaxed, relaxed and modest and lonely, but we're not actually going to use him probably for a while until we get like cut all the HMs. Um, but yes, a uh, special attack is lower than the attack. I don't really like that, but I mean, your attack is already at Bulbasaur, so I guess I can't complain. Your speed is almost at it. Uh, it has a Thunder Shock, which is a pretty good move early on, considering all we have is Tackle and Leech Seed. Uh, in this forest, all the trainers here, um, they, they're kind of different. Um, not different as in like they're unusual. Those are later trainers. But, um, uh. Alright, so as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, uh, these trainers tend to have a lot of poison types, like Weedles especially. So if you chose Bulbasaur, you're fine because Bulbasaur can't get poisoned. If you chose Charmander, you should be fine because Charmander can just burn right through them. Squirtle, you may have a bit of trouble with. And this is a trainer battle, by the way. Uh, we haven't gotten into one yet besides our rival. And I'm just showing off this first one. Uh, I'll probably cut out the rest of them because it's all unnecessary. Uh, and for the first gym, Pikachu is not for the first gym. Probably won't even be for the second gym. I'll probably just use Bulbasaur. But uh, <laughs> Bulbasaur or Rock, Rock, haha <laughs> puns. Uh, Bulbasaur just like ease right through the Rock type gym. Oh, don't poison! Ah, of course I'm poisoned. But um, in this generation, I believe your Pokemon can faint if they get too low on HP with poison. I know in uh, later generations, before they took out the poison from walking, uh, you would stop at 1 HP. I'll go ahead and stay in. Oh, this guy only has 2. I thought he had 3 for some reason. Uh, you take poison damage each turn. I I've already discussed that. I'll go ahead and use an antidote. This Caterpie cannot poison you. Unless it new toxic or something. Let's go ahead and Thundershock away. But yeah, first gym I'm not worried about, but after the forest, I'm going to come back to Viridian, and I'm going to show off that rival battle. I'm not sure if it'll be this episode, I'm hoping it will be, because if it is, that'll be great. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, edit out all the battles after this, besides like gym leaders or important trainers, uh, and I'll honestly probably just be skipping them until like the end of the episode or whatever. Pikachu's almost low in health, dang. Oh well, Pikachu did it. He had a good amount of experience from those. 
All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. All right. Uh, there's another trainer up here. If you took the grass path, it, you know, is a jerk to you. It's like, oh yeah, there's a trainer right here. Here's another antidote, which is always very helpful. Um, and if you want to skip part of that grass, you can come around here. Uh, this guy's looking both ways. Can I sneak by him? Yeah. Oh, that was weird. I thought he would look the other way. Oh, well, let's just continue going onward. <sighs> All right, as I was saying. Okay, good. Just hoping I wouldn't get interrupted. Am I going to? Uh. All right. Uh, another optional trainer right there. Half of the trainers here are optional. Would you look at that? Um, I'm just going to make it to Pewter. And then I'm going to cut back all the way. I'll fight the trainers in between uh, cutting. Why didn't I edit that part out? I don't know. I was in the middle of talking when it sh showed up. Uh, there's an item over here. I believe it's a potion? Yeah. Yeah, I'll fight the trainers in between going from uh, Pewter back to Viridian. Uh, I just want to show you guys how to get here. Uh, and then after the rush, cut back all the way back to Pewter. I don't think we'll fight the... Uh... Did I really? No, I'm just going to cut out the rest of this. All right. Uh, no while, no while. Ugh. Okay. So, we have made it all the way to Pewter almost in a few seconds. Oh, we're back at Route 2. Um, and Pewter, here we go. Uh, so this is Pewter. Uh, the Pokemon, there's a gym. I believe the Pokemon has more stuff now. I believe. Uh, let's check. Uh, I'm not sure if this is more stuff or not, but I'm gonna buy some antidotes. No, I'm not gonna buy that much. Let's buy four. Yeah. Um, repels. How many of these can I buy? Eight. How many Pokeballs? If you buy ten Pokeballs, you get an extra Premier Ball. I'll buy two just to have a solid five. I will buy six more potions. And I will buy a single Repel. All right, sweet. Uh, repel will last for 100 steps. You have to be higher level than the wild Pokemon. Uh, if not, then the Repel does not work. But anyways, guys, I will meet you guys back at Viridian. All right, we are back uh, in Viridian. And like I said before, oh yeah, let me show you my Pokemon. Uh, they're both level nine now. Uh, the probably get to level 10 before the end of the uh or before we get to Brock because of my rival that's fine because I wanted to be level 10 I would prefer if uh, Pikachu was higher because I can't use Pikachu but if you step over here ah there he is hey Loki you're off to the Pokemon League forget about it you probably don't have any badges do you the guards won't let you through without them by the way did your Pokemon get any stronger all right, so here is the first rival battle. He has two Pokemon, Pidgey and the starter that's stronger against yours. I think they're both level- yeah, okay, so we're at even playing ground, except for I'm better because I have Pikachu. <laughs> if I chose Charmander, then I would be really- oh man, you just had to go and ruin it. Well, well, I still hit. Uh, but yeah, he has Pidgey, most likely will use Sand Attack and Tackle. Maybe Growl, I'm not sure. And then he has Charmander, you don't have to worry about it using Ember, Scratch, oh, it'll use Scratch. It won't use anything else though, or maybe Growl. Depending on whatever it had, yeah. Because it has Ember, it just doesn't want to use it. Of course I'm going to miss. Okay, no, doing alright, doing alright. He's chipping away at me too, though. No, don't miss. I don't need you to miss. Oh, 11 to 6. I'll go ahead and heal. Oh, uh, yeah. How much does he do? Oh, he does 5 damage? Okay. 
That's what I thought he did, but I wasn't exactly sure. And he has just a slight bit of health. Oh! Hey! That's not cool. Alright, well that was the rival battle. And Pikachu is now level 10. Uh, special attack is still lower than the attack, what the heck? Stupid Pikachus. Oh well. I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get move move on. <sighs> oh well. Um. And yeah, I'll meet you guys back in Pewter. All oh, right. So now we're back. Um. I don't want this episode to be too short, but I don't want to fight the gym leader at the same time. I think there's a hidden item over here. Is there? Oh yeah, there it is. Pokeball. And I think uh, later on, when uh, we get cut and fly, because you'll learn more about that. Uh, there's a rare candy over here? I don't know. But we will be coming back to this town eventually. For a uh, very specific reason. But it won't be till much later on. I think my phone just keeps going off. What the heck? Why does it always go off when I'm recording? But uh, yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We got through the forest, we battled our rival for the second time, the optional fight, and we're in the gym. Now we're in the gym. Yes, this is gym. I'll go ahead and talk to this guy. Hiya, you wanna dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yeah, sure. Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is the left. Is at the left of the Pokemon list. Okay. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. Alright, great. Uh, but yeah. Uh, next time we will be taking on Brock. Granted, we could just walk around, battle him now, but that's not fun. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.